Hi guys, oh, welcome back. So today we are going to focus our energy to take a sig single logarithm and you guessed it, write it in expanded form. I feel like this is the motion for it. Now, what tools do we need to write this logarithm in expanded form? Okay, to take a single logarithm and write it in expanded form, we're going to use the product, quotient, and power rule of logarithms. So let's go ahead quickly review them. So uh, you can uh, go back to the earlier video. If I remember, I'll put a link. Okay, so the product rule for logarithms says this. If you have the logarithm of a product, then you can split it. How? You can split it as a sum. You know, logarithm of the first factor plus logarithm of the second factor. Okay? Now, if you have the logarithm of a quotient, you can also split it. How? Logarithm of the numerator minus the logarithm of the denominator. Now, if you forget if you're supposed to split it as a plus or a minus, then just vent out your frustration. You say, ah, silly logarithm rules, they make me so mad. Okay? The power rules, no matter how mad, we get uh yeah we don't have a silly memory for that okay so the pow power rule for logarithm says this if your argument is being raised to some power why don't you clean up the argument why don't you tone it down so what we can do we're just going to bring down the exponent down and then multiply it by the leftover logarithm but i'll uh have to remind you more in a bit okay so we're going to do a total of four problems and then be on our merry way Okay, so problem A, we have logarithm base 4 of 3 fourths. Now, we are asked to write it in expanded form, but what if it's a trick question? What if it generally can't be expanded? So, I don't know. Some like silly, exp oh, sorry, so, wrong section. Silly logarithm rules, they make me so mad. You know, you have to, you have to put an S at the end to let you know that you're really mad, else it doesn't work. So, then I'm going to look at the argument and ask myself, is the argument a multiplication problem? Is the argument a division problem? Well, the fraction bar is also used as a division symbol, so pretty much the argument is a division problem. And then just like that, I'm reminded that if the argument is a division problem, then when we expand the log, we're going to write it as a subtraction problem. So let's go ahead and do this. So we have logarithm base 4 of the numerator, namely 3. And then we're going to do minus, subtract, logarithm, base 4 of the denominator. So remember, if the argument of the log is a multiplication problem, when you expand it, you write it as a sum of logs. But if the argument of a logarithm is a division problem, then when you expand it, you're going to write it as a, as a difference of logs while you subtract. Okay? So that's pretty much our answer, but then... Uh, I'm not a risk taker. I want to make sure that each log is simplified. So the first part of the puzzle, log base 4 of 3, is that simplified? Uh, yeah, because 4 to what power is 3? Who knows? But this one, oh, this one's the one that we can simplify. Okay? Log base 4 of 4 equals what? So remember, a log is just an exponent. So pretty much I ask myself, 4 to what power equals 4? I'm like, okay, 4 to what power equals 4? I'm like, oh, 4 to the first power equals 4. So for that reason, log base 4 of 4 simplifies to 1. But if you're like, no, I don't have time for that, then we can bust out a secret weapon. So let's go ahead, highlight the exponent on the argument, and then we can be like, oh, look, the base is 4, the argument is 4. The, sorry, let me say that again. We could be like, oh, the base of the logarithm is 4. The base of the argument is also 4. Since the bases are the same, they undo each other because the exponential function and the logarithmic function are like inverse operations of one another. In English, they're the same, so they cancel out. Okay? So we either generally evaluate the, the logarithmic uh, term or we can just cancel our hearts out, whatever. Okay? So what's going on with this one? That is being subtracted from log base 4 of 3. And that will be our answer. It's just It just looks a little bit weird. Let me write it closer to each other. Log base 4 of 3 minus 1. And without the use of a calculator, that will be our answer. Fantastic. So we took the logarithm, we expanded it, and we simplified whatever term we could. So we're good. Okay, so one problem down three more to go. Problem B, we have logarithm base 6 of 36 m to the fifth. Okay, 
logarithm base 6 of 36 times m to the fifth. So what I'm going to ask myself at this point is this, can I really expand it? So I'm like, I don't know, silly logarithm rules that make me so mad. So we are going to look at the argument and ask ourselves, is the argument a multiplication problem? Is the argument a division problem? And in this case, we have a multiplication problem. So we can expand it. And when we expand it, we're going to write it as an addition problem. So how? We're going to say log of the first factor plus, because we're adding, plus log of the second factor. Okay? So log of the first factor plus log of the second factor. Okay, and if I said it correctly, you know, we'll say logarithm base 6 of 36 plus logarithm base 6 of m to the 5th. Don't forget to pause and rewind as many times as needed. So, we split the log or, or wrote it in expanded form. But now I want to know, can I simplify each logarithm? The first logarithm, we could totally uh, simplify it. Remember, a log is just an exponent. So the base of the log is 6. So I'm like, well, can I really simplify it without the use of a calculator? I'm like, oh, 6 to what power is 36? I'm like, oh, look, 6 to the second power is 36. Or you can just write 36 as 6 squared and then cancel out the 6s and that gives us a 2. But um, I think it's just easier if you genuinely try to evaluate it. That way you don't have to memorize things. Alright, plus, plus what? Okay, at a first glance I'm like, oh, I really can't simplify it. Okay, so we cannot simplify it of the sense of like it evaluates to some number. But when you have a logarithm... It would be nice if we can tone down the argument as much as possible. Pretty much, um, we don't want to see exponents in the argument. So at this point, we're going to go ahead and use the power rule for logs. So to do that, we're going to bring the, the exponent down. And then multiply it by the leftover logarithm, which will be log base 6 of m. So that is our answer. We cannot simplify it anymore. It's just um, this uh, unnecessary space. It's a little bit hard on the eyes. So we're going to go ahead and rewrite it. So we have 2 plus 5. The raised dot is not really needed, but if you need it, then I guess I need it too. With tired eyes, this uh, lowercase l can look like a 1, and I can read it as like, like 51 OG, which doesn't make any sense. But you'd be surprised the things I make up when I'm sleepy, okay? So with your permission, I'm going to go ahead just use an uppercase l for log, okay? So that way, no matter how tired my eyes are, I'm not going to confuse the lowercase l with the number 1. Okay, so the moral of this story, when we keep our cool and write and expand log base 6 of that, that's going to give us 2 plus 5 log 6. Uh, that's going to give us 2 plus 5 times log base 6 of m. Cool. I almost felt like that was like our last problem, but I lie. Okay, so we got two more. Okay, all right. Problem C, where am I? We have log base 2 of the square root of 9x. Okay, before I can even ask myself, okay, how are we going to expand this? Is how are we going to expand this to an addition problem or a subtraction problem? Let's go ahead and simplify the argument as much as possible. And in this case, we can definitely simplify the square root of 9x. So we have log base 2, the square root of 9 is 3, and the square root of x will just have to stay as the square root of x. So now I'm going to ask myself, can I really expand this? What if it's a trick question? So I'm going to vent out my frustration because I forget how to expand it if it's an addition or a minus. So I'm like, silly logarithm rules that make me so mad. I'm going to highlight the operation in the argument. The operation between 3 and the radical is multiplication. So in this case, when the argument is a multiplication problem, when we expand it, we're going to expand it as a sum of logs. So let's go ahead and add. So how? We're going to take log of the first factor, namely 3. And if you need the raised dot for special effects, go for it. Okay? So log of the first factor plus log of the second factor. Cool. So now let's go ahead and see if we can simplify any of the terms and rewrite if needed. The first logarithmic term, we can't simplify it by hand because I'm like, 2 to what power is 3? I don't know. So it's going to stay as 2 log 3. Okay. The next one, 2 to what power is that? Who knows? 
But whenever we have a radical, we have a hidden exponent. And we don't want exponents in the argument. So let's go ahead and uh, write this in exponential form. So we have log base 2 of 3 plus log base 2. And let's write square root of x in exponential form. So to do that, we're going to keep the base and write the exponent as a fraction. So how? It's going to be current exponent divided by the index. Current exponent divided by the index. Okay. Now, even though we cannot really expand this further per se, like we cannot write it as a plus or minus, we could tone down the argument. Okay, let's go ahead and use the power rule for logarithms to bring down the exponent. Okay, so that will give us one half times the leftover logarithm times log base 2 of x. And what's going on with this log? It's being added to log base 2 of 3. Cool. All right, so that's pretty much our answer, but for some reason, I'm just not having a moment that one has a lowercase l and one has an uppercase l. I'm not going to sleep tonight, so I'm just going to fix this so they both have uppercase l. So we have log base 2 of 3 plus 1 half. The raised dot is not needed, but if you need it, I guess I need it too. Uh, plus 1 half times the logarithm base 2 of x. So um, I think that's it. We cannot expand it anymore. We look at the first argument. It's it's just a single number. We don't have a product or a quotient. There's no exponent in the argument. And ditto for the next argument. All right, so we have one more problem, and then we're out. Problem D, we have log base 9 of 3x plus y log base 9 of 3x plus y. Uh, please remember to pause and rewind as many times as need be. Okay, so then I'm like, okay, uh, the directions are write each logarithm in expanded form. So I'm like, oh, how am I going to do that? I forget. So I'm like, silly logarithm rules, they make me so mad. So then I'm going to look at the argument. So I'm like, do I have a multiplication problem in the argument? No. Do I have a division problem in the argument? No. Is the argument being raised to some power? Uh, no. So pretty much, um, if the argument is not a product or a division problem, we cannot expand it. So how should we write it? If you just box the question, I'm going to be like, that's weird, okay? Where's my picture? I need to get my picture, okay? Uh, the directions are to rewrite each logarithm in expanded form and if it's not possible then it's not possible so just write something to let me know that it's not happening so we'll just write down um, cannot be expanded cannot be cannot be expanded okay guys so I, I promised you four problems that was our fourth and final problem Please come back. We're going to do two more problems in another video and then we'll be, we'll be then we will be in our merry way. Thank you.